Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be adding some really cheap but really bright lights to the front of the Jeep. Now if you remember back a couple of videos, that was awful guys, I'm so sorry. But if you remember a couple back, um, back a couple of videos, we bought a $20 light bar bracket and bumper off, e um, off Facebook Marketplace. Um, and the reason I wanted that light bar bracket was because I wanted to run some lights on the front of my Jeep. Now, I didn't want something that was uh, too big, I don't want to run too many lights, but I still want some really bright lights that kind of complement the front of the Jeep, look good, but still offer bright light when I need off-road um, and those different situations. Uh, so if you guys are in the market for a few, a couple of bright lights, I will leave a link to these in the description. Now these are actually cheaper than what you can buy off Amazon and eBay, but still super bright. Um, now I will, because they are so cheap, they might not last forever. Uh, I will do an update maybe in say six months, same as of what I did with that Bowden own, Bowden's own product um, I was using for the trim restorer to see how they go, see how they're holding up to weather um, and all that sort of stuff. They do say they're waterproof, uh, they do have a one year warranty as well, so if something does happen I can return them. So I got these lights uh, from King's, King's uh, four wheel drive super center here on the Sunshine Coast, and they're 24 bucks for two lights. Now these lights are 1,866 looms, so they are super bright. They've got a, a floodlight in the center and 10 spotlights um, as well. So super bright. Um, I do have them hooked up. Now you can buy the harness for them as well. Um, if you guys don't already have wiring for spotlights and that sort of thing, that is an extra cost. I think it's like $66 for the two lights and the wiring harness. If you guys do want that, uh, please do. But I had the wiring harness from the original bumper uh, for like the fog lights off that. So all I did was wire it through that um, and it's kind of plug and play and I didn't need to change anything uh, just because they're not super super bright um, and they're not massive you don't really need to change much at all but if you do if you don't have a wiring harness probably spend the extra money and do get one uh, but what I did was wire it to the original fog light uh, for the JK bumpers and just ran it through the uh, plastic shield there and behind the grill. And I like them because they aren't big, they're not like 9 inch bodies or anything like that. I'm not a fan of big lights, uh, but as I said, they're uh, 1,866 looms, a floodlight and 10 little spotlights in each one. So super bright. Um, I think one of the best things about them, um, I wanted this bracket because it's got the different holes there, so you're not mounting them or drilling for a bumper, really empty. But I like the back of these because they've actually got two little Allen key holes there. And you can actually adjust them to either uh, be further up, further down, you can rotate them side to side whether you want them as like a, a floodlight on the ground to point in front of you, a floodlight up in the trees and you can change them through a different one. Now a lot of people actually use these for like camp lights and stuff up in the roof racks, reverse lights and stuff because they, they are quite small, they are a 4 inch um, LED spotlight or floodlight, whatever you guys want to call them. Um, so a lot of people do use them for reverse lights. Um, they are super bright, I'll show you guys that in a second. But I might get some more for the refracts or spotlights. 24 bucks, you really can't go wrong. Cheaper than what you can get off eBay and Amazon. So all it is at the bottom is a nut and bolt. Uh, just secures itself nice and tight. And I've kind of adjusted these to where I want them. You can have them high or low depending on what. And I like that adjustment. I hate buying lights and you can't really tilt them back or forward or to the side a lot. I have had a few before you can't really adjust like a LED light bar. Which is up there, you can't really adjust them a lot like you can these. So I'm sitting mine in there, and with the, I'll bring this tripod I've got over here up. So with what I'm doing with mine is I'm hooking up to the factory wiring harness for the uh, spotlights, and it's got these pretty cool little plugs. So everything's waterproof, stuff like that, and push that in nice and tight, and like. I've, all I've done is kind of trim that down. Now, I must admit when I was wiring these up, I was a bit, a bit stupid to be fair guys. I was wired them up and I was like, oh my god, they're not working. What the hell have I done? I'm trying to find a bad connection, bad ground or something like that. And I was like, um, wired up the factory spotlights that I've got for them. And I was like, oh, they're not working. Something here is not right. So I was like trying to diagnose what it is. So it turns out, there's actually a little plug on the dashboard of the Jeep that you've actually got to activate. And you pull that out and that actually activates the spotlights, um, the fog lights on the Jeep. I was like, are you serious? I spent probably like a day, a couple of hours today um, activating that. So if you guys don't know about it, I didn't know about it. 
Okay, we've got the owner's manual. It's actually just a little thing on the dash here. So you turn the lights on, and that thing there actually just pops out, and that activates the spotlights. So obviously I've got that one right up wrong, but you can see how bright it is. Uh, let's kind of let's just switch to a nighttime shot here, so you guys can see how bright they are. But damn, that's pretty bright, guys. So let's change this one. Must have had that one backwards. Boom. And that's pretty bright, like it's daylight now, and it's flooding up all that. So pretty damn good, so uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments, or let me know in the comments what you guys are running. Um, but really happy so far with these, they're super bright, uh, super cheap, 24 bucks. They've got that spotlight, they've got the floodlight in there as well, which I really like. Super cheap, um, and I don't think they look too bad on the front bumper. It's not overdone, it's not too big, um, I think it complements it really nicely. But we'll go to a nighttime shot so you guys can see that. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys are interested, if you guys are interested in these lights, I'll leave a little link in the description below. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. Really simple. Um, I like the adjustability of these lights. Love the price um, and love how bright these are. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link in the description. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, smash the like button. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button as well. It would really help out this channel. It allows us to grow and create better content for you um, and do a few things different as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.